Hello everyone, my name is Lenny from Code with Lenny Len and in this 7th Python SQLite tutorial I'm going to show you how we can delete a record from a table. So as you can see maybe we had some records and you want to delete maybe um, I want to take out maybe Cynthia or maybe myself I don't know why I want to take myself out but maybe I want to take out Lenny from this table maybe he was a bad employee and I want to get him out all we can do is just write a simple script that will do that for us and let's get it started so for now we read the data here then we update and all that stuff I'm just going to comment this out we don't need anything updating right now so we're just going to come down here make some new lines or oh, I can have some space and just show you guys def delete underscore record so I'm deleting the record and we just execute an SQLite command. So as we did in the previous tutorials, dbase will execute. And by the way, if you have not been following these uh, tutorials that I've been showing out, you can head on to the link in the description. I'll leave a link in the description where you can go and get all these codes online. I posted them online for all of you guys so you can go get them. But for now, what you're doing is deleting. So as you saw in the previous tutorials, we did insert, update, and uh, what else? Select. So right now we're just going to do delete. Whoops. Oh my. Yeah. There we have it. Delete. So what are we deleting and from where? So the syntax of this command is quite simple. So you just say delete from. Where are we deleting from? The employee table. So this employee records table. That's where we are deleting from and where or what are we deleting so as we did in the last tutorial update this is quite simple we're just going to do where id equal one i believe lenny was given the id one he was the first person in this company but now he's misbehaving and i want to delete him so i've deleted from employee records that's the name of our table and where where are we deleting this from where the id is equal to one Remember, you can still use something like where the stars is, is equal to 3, but if you remember the stars, you might have more than one star uh, for many people, and that will cause massive confusion. You can end up deleting half the people in your company, or in this case, just a simple table. But it's actually very important. Keep the idea of the primary key intact. That's a very, very serious case. Primary key should never be forgotten. So we have executed that command and what do we do? As in previous tutorials, whenever you are modifying anything related to the database, whether it's adding a new record or deleting or updating, you have to commit, not execute. Why am I making these silly mistakes? I don't know. So print deleted. If you have done Python, you're going to maybe modify this function so that you can put exactly who and what and where and which division from you want to delete. But as for now, you're going to keep it simple. Delete from this stuff. I just had coded the values. No issue. Just for simple tutorial. So I'm going to delete record. Let me just write it there. So delete record. And now after we have deleted this, we want to show that you have deleted it. So we're just going to read data again. Maybe down there. And I'm going to print a dash so that we can see where the update has been applied to. So we just save and run. So it has run and ID I'm looking for Lenny, Lenny, Lenny. Oh yeah. Here we have Lenny and software he had three stars very loyal worker after some time he misbehaved he stole my money and so we ran the function deleted and now if we go out and scout for lenny oh no lenny is not anywhere in the database so that shows us how we can actually manipulate a database that has been very simple for sqlite all you need to do is just is dbase or execute then you just tell it delete here you put anything so it can be delete, insert, um, update but for now we're just deleting so delete from where are we deleting from the employee records table so you might have numerous tables but for now we just use one table so you just put the name of that table 
delete from employee records where the ID is equal to one. So you're telling it when wherever you see the ID is one in this table, delete. And that will run just that simple uh, SQL statement. And now here down, as we told you, debate the commit, what commit does applies the changes. And we can just print delete and everything is deleted. We read the data again and we see everything. So as I showed you in the last tutorial, I use this, uh, uh, not the image, I want to pull out something else. I use this um, application, DB Browser for SQLite, for me to view my database. But now that I've already showed you how you can actually read from a database, I don't think that's actually necessary because you can just run and write the simple command and get that. I use SQL uh, DB Browser because it's much simpler maybe for demonstration because it draws tables and if you have something complex, you might not want to stick to this syntax of printing everything on the screen. You might want something that's organized so you can get that DB Browser. It's a good and uh, it's a very good um, it's a very good program for this kind of stuff that you'll be working with, databases. So that's it for this SQLite tutorial. I'm not done. I actually, all this you can use just for basic stuff. In the next video, which will be a bonus video, I'm going to show you uh, simple tricks or things that you can use. I'm going to show you how to fetch, what a cursor is, and something like uh, checking whether an entity exists in a table. So that will be a very helpful tutorial. If you would like to get it to, just pause this video from here and head straight on. But if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, do put them in the description. I'm going to be sure to check them out. And stay tuned for the next videos. As always, thanks for watching.